All right, back, and it's time now to talk recruiting with our recruiting insider, Otis Kirk. And let's get to Brady Latham. He is a kid who committed this past week, O lineman from Jenks. And of course, uh, Latham is 6'5, 287. He's a tackle. This is big for Arkansas. Yeah, it's real big. Uh, they needed offensive linemen, and he was a kid that they targeted. They got on in July. They've been on him before that, but they offered him and made an official, you know, offered him a scholarship. And, uh, you know, and he. After he came to the Whoop Pig Nick, and uh, they offered him a scholarship, he, he, you know, his dad played do you. He's here's, you know, people ask me why he wasn't more heavily recruited. But first, I think he'll get more offers. But the deal was, he played. He was 210 pounds in the sophomore. He uh, was playing baseball and football, and he couldn't decide. You know, I mean, he was wanting to play baseball, but he had it became a point where he had to bulk up, and the baseball coaches didn't want him to do that, so he quit baseball and uh, you know and this was after not playing football as a freshman because of his he had surgery uh, he was growing too fast and that's why his he had some issues with his health because he was growing too fast so they had to do a surgery and that kept him out of his freshman season and as a sophomore he quit after that he quit baseball and went to football and then last year he played at 240 245 pounds which we know is still not big for an offensive lineman but this year he's playing at 287 pounds and that makes a big difference and but it, that's why he wasn't more heavily recruited because he just didn't have the size you know when you go see a 210 pound offensive lineman you're probably not going to offer him but you know arkansas was close he came to he came over here and saw him more than uh he was here before the picnic even he was here on an unofficial visit and Arkansas liked him you know and so they offered him a scholarship okay what does this mean in terms of options moving forward because we know that O-line is, is an area of need yeah. and it typically is but again uh, as far as options now for 2019 after Latham's commitment yeah you've got you know you got you got Bo Lemmer you've got Joseph Stone committed so what they're gonna do they're probably sign at least one more and preferably two more and there's a couple of junior college kids uh, Tim Anderson out at Saddleback in California California, and then you've got Josh Cooper down at Navarro we talked about on the show last week as a big kid about 6'6", 340 pounds that can flat play tackle. Bo and, and Anderson is a tackle also. He's only about 280, but he gets, he's got really great fundamentals. And he gets every, every ounce of his 280 pounds, he maximizes it. He knows how to get good pad level and stuff and gets on the defender real fast. So both those kids are coming in. Uh, Anderson will be here for the Alabama game. Cooper will visit after the season, but they're both good options. And Arkansas, like I said, will probably try to sign. They would. They went into this wanting five, but at least a minimum four. So if you know, so scholarships are getting tight. But with the numbers at the offensive line like they are, I think Arkansas will end up with five if they can get the right five. They're not going to sign a fifth one or a fourth or fifth just to be signing, but they will get. I think they'll get at least four, and if they get the right one, they'll take five. Okay, defense now, and this is a huge loss uh, for Mansfield legacy. Jalen Catalan is a kid that Arkansas is looking hard at for good reason. This guy's a superstar. He injured his left knee. He's done for the season. Yes, he is. He announced that on Twitter about an hour ago, or you know, during the week, and uh, he's. Uh, he he's I think he's the best safety in Texas. I really do. His coach says he's the best player in Texas. <laughs> he may very well be. But you know, he's got a teammate who's committed to Arkansas. He's got another teammate who is gonna visit Arkansas with him for the Alabama game, and that's Tarian Carter, the defensive lineman. And Enoch Jackson's the defensive lineman who's committed. But yeah, Catalan, that's a big loss for that team. He played quarterback, he played safety for them. So that you know, it's a double hit for the coach for the team. It's it's a sad way to see his his high school career in, but he'll come back strong in college. Arkansas, Texas, Clemson, all the big time schools are after him. Uh, KJ Jefferson is from Mississippi, and this is a dual threat guy who Arkansas is going to get. Uh, he's a commitment, that is, and 663 total yards for KJ over the course of three games this season. What does this kid bring other than the fact that everybody knows him as a dual threat QB? Well, he's a kid that does bring to Arkansas what Chad Morris likes, and that's a true dual threat quarterback. Now, his rushing totals are only 151 yards this year but what you're going to see from him that's still 50 yards a game uh, 50 plus yards a game but what you're going to see from him is you're going to see a kid that may not run as much as senior year because the coach doesn't want to get him hurt he's too valuable to the team as quarter you see I mean they lost Catalan you know that's what happens and you try to avoid that so he's going to be throwing the football a lot and uh, you know he's, he's let them you know out 
a couple of wins there early in the season. He's a kid that's uh, going to bring to Chad Morris the type quarterback that he likes and that it's a true dual threat quarterback. Yeah, absolutely. Seems to fit the Chad Morris system. All right. Okay. Otis, appreciate you. Thank you. All right, man. my man. Otis Kirk, a recruiting insider, and you can see a lot of his stuff on Hogville as well. Back with more after this.